Hello and welcome to the walking talking topic on trigonometry question number one with me Mr Barton and I've got a brand new pen for this series of walking talking topics very exciting stuff right okay so I'm faced with this question here and my first problem is I don't know whether it's a trigonometry question or a Pythagoras question and if you don't get that right you're getting a big fat zero so I'm saying to myself I've got one side I've got another side and I need to work out a third side and whenever I've got two sides and I need another side it has to be Pythagoras it has to be good old Pythag now once you've decided it's Pythagoras your next decision you need to make is whether it's uh, you're going to add the two the squares of the two sides together or subtract the squares of the two sides together and the way I always remember this is if I'm trying to find the hypotenuse I need to add if I'm trying to find a shorter side I need to subtract so this one is a subtraction question. So I say to my students, square it, square it, subtract it, square root it. So I'm going to write it down. W equals 56.2, square it, 12.7, square it, subtract it, square root the whole thing. And that's all you need to do. And then as long as you can type into your calculator, you're laughing. Now, I'm going to do it step by step, um, but you can do it all in one. So I'm going to do 56.2 squared, take away 12.7 squared, press equals, and it's going to come out a horrendous looking answer, but if I press my SD, I get 2997.15, but I've got to remember to square root that. So on my calculator, I'm a big fan of using the answer button, so I'm going to clear that, I'm going to press square root of my previous answer, press equals and that's going to come out to 54.746 dot 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 I always like doing that centimeters and um, check that they haven't asked me to round it to anything they haven't so it's fine to leave my answer like that and as a final check that should be shorter than my hypotenuse because my hypotenuse is always my longest side and it is so things are looking good for three marks there now what's going on here I've got two sides and I need to work out an angle. That should set an alarm bell off that this has to be a soccer toe question. So I'm going to go into automatic pilot, label my sides, opposite the right angle, hypotenuse, opposite the angle, opposite, between the right angle and the angle, adjacent. I'm going to tick what I've got, got my hypotenuse, got my opposite. Now if I know my soccer toe, I should know that O and H is so or sine. So I'm going to draw my triangle, sine, Theta, opposite, hypotenuse. Lovely little triangle around there, times in the middle. And my rule is I'm going to cover up what I am trying to work out, cover up what I need. Well, they've asked me to work out the angle. So I put my thumb over and it tells me that I need to do opposite divided by hypotenuse. It tells me sin theta equals opposite divided by hypotenuse. So I'm going to write that down. Sin theta equals opposite opposite divided by hypotenuse now theta just stands for the angle in this case it's m so sin m equals opposite which is 14.2 there he is there divided by hypotenuse which is 34.6 there he is there and now this is just like an equation i don't want to know what sin m is i want to know what m is so to get rid of a sine from both sides of the equation, I need to do the inverse, which is just sine to the minus 1. Just like to get rid of a times, you need to do the inverse, which is divide. So my m is equal to, and I've got to do sine to the minus 1 of this side, 14.2 divided by 34.6. And when I've got it like that, it's simply a case of banging it into the calculator properly. So to get my sine to the minus 1, shift sine, and I'm going to do 14.2 and I'm going to divide it by 34.6 and I'm going to make sure my brackets are closed at the end sine to the minus 1 14.2 divided by 34.6 press equals and I'm getting 24.2302 dot 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 on the units there are degrees there we go